What's up guys? Beyond Perfect Cell here. And today, oh my god, it's been a while since I last was on YouTube. But today, I'm starting a new series called NASCAR Trash where I talk about um, some of the worst drivers in NASCAR right now and in the past, at least in my opinion. And I know the perfect one to start with. I'm pretty sure she goes by the name Natalie Decker. Alright, so basically she... She blocked me on Instagram because I said something true. Haley Deegan is better than Natalie Decker. Haley Deegan is better than Natalie Decker. Natalie Decker, and in a chat for one of the uh, for a week I'm in, I sent the whole thing about Natalie Decker blocking me, and somebody in there made a very now I'm not going to disclose her name, but they made a very good point that Natalie Decker is just the next Danica Patrick, and she is a crybaby. That could have been that couldn't have been said better. So let's get started. Natalie Decker in 2018 really hit the NASCAR scene when she got a ride with Venturini Motorsports driving the 25 car. What did she do with Venturini? Hmm, let's see. Down the inside makes some contact with the 77 of Joe Graff Jr. Ooh. Makes oh, shocker! She crashed! Barrier. Looks like Harrison Burton squeezing through, contending for third. And Natalie Decker is hanging in up top, hmm. going for the lead. Natalie, Natalie Decker, Decker trying, trying to take to the lead? The hmm, I wonder how this is going to end. Steering wheel. Robot coming back. Self, gonna make it three wide. Contact! Shocker! She grass. wrecked. Caution number six. Self no, Natalie Decker, to tell you the truth, Natalie Decker's ARCA career wasn't really entirely crashes as I just showed you, showed you. It did have a lot of crashes, but it wasn't all crashes. Now, if I look here on racing reference, ARCA. As I search Natalie Decker on here, her stats and ARCA aren't all bad. She has um. She, oh, I did not know this, but Natalie Decker in 2019 also in 2019 Natalie Decker made one start in the uh, uh, Canon East series. Well, back in 2019 it was called the Canon East series. Now it's the Arca Nerds, Arca East series, Arca East. Anyway, so her Arca East statistics: one rare start. Zero wins, zero top fives, zero top tens, zero pulls, one laps, zero laps led, earning zero rank 47, average start 7.0, average finish 19.0. So basically, she didn't do jack shit in Urca East. Um, the Urk and anyway, the Urca Menard series, um, she has four years documented here. 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020. So her 2017 ARCA stats are this. Um, seven starts, zero wins, zero top fives, two top tens. At least she got something. Um, zero pulls, 796 laps completed, zero laps led, zero earnings. Um, rank 23rd, average start is 14.1 average finish 13.1 not bad not bad um zero da dnqs okay so for seven starts her 2017 arca stats are all right but nothing really impressive or indicative of a driver worthy of being in 
the truck series in top equipment or even indicative of on her newest post on Instagram some guy commented Butte future cup series champion heart 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 it's one of the Natalie Decker um fanboys I didn't know those existed but okay so those stats clearly are not indicative of a future Cup Series champion. Now we'll have to I'll look her deeper into her ARCA stats in a second. But what I commented under there was, if you want a true, um, if you want a true potential future female Cup Series champion, root for Haley Deegan. And over that, Natalie Decker blocked me. So anyway, her 2018 ARCA stats are this. She started all the risks. Good, good, good. Two top fives, nine top tens. You did something, Natalie. Congratulations. Here's nothing. I don't have anything for you. Um, two hundred uh, one poll, two thousand, which was at Daytona. Um, two thousand seven hundred ten laps completed, one lap led. Oh, my bit of an. Pressman in you is all oh, gone now. Uh. She finished seventh in the points. What'd you think? Oh my god, she got a top ten in the points! Stop thinking of her! Shut up! She was one of only seven drivers who competed full time in Arca in 2018. So that top ten in the points basically. It doesn't matter. All right. So her um, average start was eleven point eight. Average finish also eleven point eight. Zero DNQs. All right. Twenty nineteen Urca stats. She started two races, one top ten, one hundred fifty eight laps completed, fifty sixth in points. Average start thirteen point five. Average finish fourteen point five. 2020 ARCA stats. Um, oh, she, I did not know she made stars in ARCA in 2020. One ray and uh, one start, 38 laps completed, 75th in points, 19.0 average start, 26.0 average finish. So over four years of Competing part time and full time over four in the Arkham Nerd series, she has um she has entered thirty races. She's gotten two top fives, twelve top tens, one pole. She's completed three thousand seven hundred two laps, only leading one of those. Average start twelve point seven, average finish twelve point eight. Well, how's your truck career? So much better, so much better, so much better. Now that tire has destroyed the fender and the hood on that truck. For some reason, did both of those trucks have left front tire failures on the first lap like. of the race? She's got more issues than that. She's tore her oil line off right there. And that's a big problem for Natalie Decker making her first truck series start here at Daytona. That'll bring out the caution as she's on pit road. And it is indeed out. And there you see pulling Natalie Decker out of the truck. The crew right on hand to get that fire out. Turn four, just before they got to the tri-oval. The 54 of Natalie Decker. Decker was running in the top 20, Phil, doing a nice job early. Looks like maybe some damage to the left rear. I wonder if maybe got together with another Looks truck. Looks like maybe more contact with another vehicle than it was the wall. Had such a tough outing last week at Daytona. Had a flat tire on the first lap of the race and tore up that uh, left front and eventually had an oil fire and just uh, her day came to an end before it got started. Looks like she's... It is the 54 of Natalie Decker. Wow, look at the damage to the transition. This...
broadcast about how difficult it is to keep control of your truck when you're down on the bottom. It just got loose. No air on that right rear fender because of the outside. Watch this damage right here. Traffic and then bam. Wow. Look at that contact. Your spoiler. That's exactly what happened to her there. We saw the same thing happen last week at Dover to Sheldon Creed. He, as you mentioned, led 59 laps of that race. The 54 oh. Natalie Decker. Oh, yeah, her truck was already crippled up, but what a nice job. Looks like maybe Tyler Dipple in the 0-2. Yeah. They had some... Oh! That's your line. Natalie Decker's around as well in the 54 truck. Oh, and there's... There's a swarm of trucks. Oh, caution flag is out. And that's the 54 of Natalie Decker. It's hard to say what happened. We'll see here. You know, the upper right portion of your screen, and you'll see the 97 and 22, yeah. and you have to determine. How about the stuff inside, she says inside, on the radio? Inside, 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 or wreck. I bring it to the road. I don't know how the fuck I call inside the hallway down the back stretch. We still drive to the bottom of the corner getting into three. Eddie, you gotta look at this spotter. If you were clear, if you were came down when you're supposed to, have the two, it never would have happened. Maybe just a little tiny rain this summer. The toe seems like it's back to normal. We're pretty close. Well, I'm sure it's a little tight now when you knock the side of the truck off. You better start learning how to listen to your spotter. That's a 0-2 aft pack. put her into the inside wall. Fire it up if you can here. Take it to the garage. Turn left. Take it to the garage. Now, obviously, Natalie Decker's did, done more than wreck this year in, in, in trucks last year and this year. I didn't really find any wrecks from this year. I didn't want to show too many wrecks on there because there's more to her than wrecks and the stuff she says on the radio sometimes, but her truck stats, it is time. Oh, she has three different years listed for the truck series on Racing Reference 2016, 2019, and 2020. In 2016, she started zero out of 33 races. She attempted to start and make her first truck start in 2016, but she she DNQ'd, but she was kind of in backmarker equipment, so I'll give her a pass. She was, one, she was in backmarker equipment for that truck start she attempted to make, which was at Martinsville. So I'll give her a pass on that. Not just that, but she was only 19 years old and hadn't even really made any starts in ARCA yet. So I'll give her a pass on that. I'll, uh, I'll give her a pass. 2019 trucks. started 19 of 23 races. Now, the other drivers made a couple of starts in that 54 truck for DGR Crossway in 2019 instead of her, but she started 19 of 23 races. And she completed 2,101 laps. She finished 19th in the point standings out of only 32 drivers that run trucks, so not that good. Her average finish was 22.2. That's abysmal. Ah. Ugh. In 2020, she's only started 18, 8 of 13 races that the truck series have ran so far this year. That's mainly because she was in the hospital for, I think, a gallbladder surgery when Pocono came around. She couldn't race a couple races here and there because of medical problems, which, understandable, that's fine. That's probably also why she didn't start a couple races last year. But her stats for this year in the truck series, one top five one top 10 obviously those both came in her top five at daytona which i'll give her credit she was the first female to ever finish in the top five in a truck series race ever i'll give her credit for that she's still a bitch though um she has completed 746 laps she currently sits 24th in the point standings that's worse than last year 
average start is 21.2. Her average finish is 24.1. You can't make this stuff up. You cannot make this stuff up. Um. So, her stats in the truck series with three years listed. Here's it. She's started a total of 27 races, all of those coming in 2019 and 2020, since she DNQ'd for that one start she tried to make in 2016. She has one top five, one, one top ten. She's completed 2,847 laps, led none of them. Um... Her average start is 20.3 and her average finish is 22.8. And she has one DNQ and that's for that one start she attempted to make in 2016. Those stats are horrible. Let me read you some of her. No, okay. Her trucks. I don't know if I, I can really count her arc east stats towards her or not because they are her stats, but she has only made one start in Arca East ever, and that was in 2019, and she only completed one lap, aka she pretty much start and park that shit, um, but, um, her, um, I gotta say, she was starting to get Arca figured out in the season finale at Kansas in 2018, but her Arca stats are much more impressive than her truck stats ever um, dream of being. Now, hold up. Let me search up Haley. Since that's who I compared Natalie Decker to. What are Haley Deegan's stats? Let me. Okay. Yep. Yep. That's Haley Deegan. Yep. Haley Deegan. She has, um, um, some exhibi two exhibition or unclassified, um, well, or uh, race results for 2018 starter 3100 and 2019 starter 3100. Um, she also has stats, um, on here. For the Cars Tour, or what the full name is, the Cars Super Late Model Tour. But she also has stats on here for um, the car uh, main series. We're not going to look at those unclassified versions. For the main series, is she has on here, she has four on here. The Cars Tour, the Arca East Series, Arca West Series, and the Arca Menard Series. Let's look at her star car store stats. So she has one year listed, that being 2017. She made only two starts, zero wins, zero top five, zero top ten, zero pulls, 234 laps completed. Um, average start 10.0, average finish 12.5. Pretty good. She didn't do too much, but at the same time, she only made two starts in the car store. And so this is still when the name Haley Deegan was fairly unknown. So I'll get, I'll give her a pass. She has two years listed for the Arca East series, 2018 and 2019. Um, 2018, she made six starts, got zero wins, zero top five, zero top sins, zero pulls, completed 572 laps, led three of those laps, um, finished 20th in the points. Um, average start of 16.7, average finish of 20.7, and yeah, 
not that impressive, but her, uh, let's look at her 2019 Arca East stats now. Um, she started this time in Arca East, she started eight races instead of six. She has zero wins, zero top fives, three top tens, already better, already better, zero pulls, 831 laps completed, six laps led, um, finished 10th in the points, average start of 10.9, average finish of 11.9, huge improvement over her 2018 ARCA East set, so over two years in ARCA East series, she um, started 14 races, one zero, got zero top fives, got three top tens, zero pulls, completed 1,403 laps, led nine of those laps, um, had an average start of 13.4, average finish of 15.6. Not bad. Let's look at her ARCA West stats. She has two years listed, like ARCA East, 2018, 2019. She started both, all the races for ARCA West in both of those years. In 2018, she got... For Arca West Series, she got one win, five top fives, 12 top tens, two pulls, completed 1,982 laps, led 40 of those laps, finished fifth in the points with an average start of 6.8 and an average finish of 7.7. So her 2018 Arca West stats are much better than her Arca East stats from both 2018 and 2019. That's good, that's good. Her 2019 Arca East stat, uh, Arca West stats. She has two wins, eight top fives, 11 top tens, three pulls, completed 1,826 laps, led 67 of those laps, finished third in the points with an average start of 5.1 and an average finish of 6.1. So that is very good, honestly, uh, improved over her 2018, also better than her stats in both 2018 and 2019 ARCA East, and honestly, in my opinion, better than her 2018 ARCA West stats, so, better than Natalie Decker's ARCA East stats, alright, uh, so, and then you got the ARCA Menard series, alright, so here's her stats. She's got two years listed down, 2019, 2020, and 2019. She started six races, one zero races, got one top five, four top ten, zero pulls, completed 813 laps, led zero laps, um, finished 24th in the points with an average start of 9.0, an average finish of 9.7. Not bad, not bad, especially since she was part-time for Venture New Motorsport in 2019. 2020, she got herself the hell out of here. Toyota Racing Development, and this year, she, obviously, since she's full-time in ARCA, she started every race. What her, her, are her stats so far? She's got zero wins, two top fives, ten top tens. She's completed 1,314 laps, led zero of them. She currently is fourth in the points with an average start of 6.2 and an average finish of 7.8. Not bad at all, not bad at all. In two years in Arca Menard Series so far, she's started 18 races, 1-0, gotten three top fives, 14 top tens, zero pulls, completed 2,127 laps, led zero of them average, with average start of 7.2, average finish of 8.4, and that's pretty good. So basically, my point about Natalie Decker, She's not as bad as everybody makes it out for her to be, but she is still very, very not talented. She's not on Haley Deegan's level. And to her whining and complaining sometimes, it's just stupid. Learn how to listen to your squad and stuff. Learn how to run in NASCAR. But mainly to people who think good about Natalie Decker. What's up guys, Beyond Perfect Cell here. Did you enjoy this video? Are you subscribed? Well, if you're not subscribed, you should probably subscribe. Or else you might just turn out to be a fan of Quinn Half. Yuck. Nobody wants that. So go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and subscribe. No.